everyone, welcome back to Aquila Art Channel. Today we demonstrate the very basic of how to start painting in 5 minutes. First, let's bring in some inspirations. Inspirations are everywhere. Those are just a few lovely sceneries that I saw over the weekend. Now that the spring is here, flowers blooming and water shining, it really makes me want to paint. It doesn't have to be scenery or objects, but you can paint about your emotions too. If you're sad, happy, even grumpy, just draw and paint about it as you like. As for me today, I'm feeling pretty happy, in the mood for yellow, and I came across a photo of those gorgeous mimosa flowers, so I'm going to paint about this. Let's go over what to look for in paints to use. You want something that's easy to use so that it can work with the speed of your ideas. Those should be easy to blend and quick to dry. Also easy to clean so that you won't damage your brushes. And hey, you want to spend more time painting and not cleaning. Vivid color payout and safe for you and the environment is always a plus. My favorite, of course, is Aquila. As for materials to paint on, you can use canvas, paper, fabric, tile, and brick. These are just a few examples, but you can be as creative as you want to be with Aquila because it is very flexible. And the basic things you need are masking tape, pencil, eraser, new paint, a few different types of brushes, we are painting on paper today, tracing paper, the photo, and the palette of your choice. Okay now, let's get to painting. First step is to trace the shapes in your photo. To do this, put tracing paper over the photo and follow the lines. The goal is to create a line drawing version of the photo. Once you're done, flip the tracing paper and go wild blocking out with pencil. Then, put the tracing paper back on and trace the lines you drew with the pen to transfer the lines onto the paper you'll be painting on. And if you'd like, you can use eraser to roughly remove strong lines so that you won't interfere with paint later. Next, let's capture the general tone. The goal here is to create a blurry version of the photo using paint. It helps to wet the paper first. This helps paint to blur better. Mix paint with a large amount of water and add yellow paint to yellow places and green paint to green places. You don't have to be very precise here. We are just setting the general tone. Then, let's give the painting some texture. Add less water to the paint to get deeper colors and add depths to the areas you painted in the previous step. The goal here is to make it less blurry than before, so find places that are darker in the photo and paint accordingly. Let's move on to add the finishing touches. Use a brush with smaller tip to add all the details. In this case, you want to draw the lines and the leaves and texture of the flowers. The goal here is to make it as clear as you want the painting to look using more variety of colors. And ta-da! Now the final step of course is to enjoy! Frame it nicely and display it nicely. If you feel like your bedroom is missing something, you can display your masterpiece to give it more life. If you feel a little bored of your scenery at work, your art can help you to keep your mood alive. You know what can help you to relax even more in the bathroom? An eye candy to enrich your soul. I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did. Art offers so many ways for us to enrich our lives by making it, appreciating it, and talking about it. Please do let us know what you plan to paint next. Thank you very much for watching, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more art and craft related videos like this. Hope you all have a wonderful, artful day!